Alright guys, so uh, people were asking, <laughs> I say people, uh, had somebody ask about how loud the pump is, and uh, so uh, I'll uh, give you an idea, uh, this is how it is ambient, I don't know if you guys can hear that, this is, uh, about uh, what it is when running normally, um, so uh, fairly quiet compared to my old system. Um, so, you can hear the pump, I mean that's definitely the most noticeable noise. Now I, uh, I watched another YouTube video that had an interesting thing, the guy unplugged his uh, fan header, and then you hear that noise went away. And so I don't know if it's the fans or if it's the pump itself. Um, so I'll have to do some more testing on that. I may pull one of the fans off and hook it up on a separate spot and see if it's just because of the way that they're running, if the bearings don't like it. I actually am not going to be running the stock fans uh, after tomorrow. My other uh, SP120s that have the colored rings will be here, and I'll swap those on. So while I have those out, I'll, I'll test the fans and let you guys know. But uh, you can definitely hear the difference once you get this plugged back in. If I can get it plugged back in. Alright. So, uh, you heard the fan spin up, and so. Uh, when the fans are running at high RPM, I didn't hear the pump noise. So I'm going to go with the fact that the uh, built-in fan controller in here is actually not the thing making the noise. I think it's actually the fans. Let me bump the RPMs up in uh, Corsair Link. So here's Corsair Link, guys. Uh, I've kind of done some uh, changes, made some uh, uh, changes on the uh, how the screen's set up, kind of just located stuff where it's at. But uh, if I take the uh, fans, and let's say I bump it up to balanced. Uh, well, how about this? I'll go and take it up to performance on both the fans. And so now with that, the fans are running about, uh, looks like about 1900 RPM on performance. And uh, I don't hear the, the grinding noise anymore. And so I'm actually going to say that it's probably these fans don't like running at that low RPM. Um, so you might need to look at that on the quiet setting. When they sit down low, uh, you might have to actually do a custom thing that you're going to do so that they don't run at that low RPM. Because it sounded like the bearings were acting up. Because I don't think it was the pump module. Alright, so that's those. Uh, let me show you uh, some of the cool things you can do with this LED. Uh, there it is red. And you can cycle it. Uh, you, know, you can make it orange if you want. Uh, or if you uh, want a dark green or a bright green. Uh, you can go blue. Uh, you can have it cycle. So here, let me show you what the setup here is. And of course, they're linking. Actually, have it cycle through a number of different colors, uh, and so it'll actually sit there and cycle through the different colors as it as time passes. And you can do two or four colors. And then the temperature setup is what I like because you can actually set the temperatures, and as your loop heats up, it'll change all the way from blue into red, uh, which is kind of a cool thing. You get a visual indicator of how hot your loop is. Um, I haven't gotten it completely right because both these temperatures over here don't really make any sense to me. It's telling me that this, the uh, CPU temp is like 15 degrees, which my ambient temp is like 20 something, so that's not even possible. And then the pump, I'm assuming this is the loop temp, probably not the right temp either. So um, I don't really know exactly what's showing up, but uh, I mean you can still make it work, you just have to basically do a, an offset value here on these temperatures to what based on what the difference between this and your like real temp values are but um, 
otherwise it's pretty cool to actually see it cycle um, but uh, you can do any color you want you can have freaking pink I mean it's <laughs> whatever I mean it's any color you want you can have it bright white if you want it bright white so uh, it's a it's a fairly cool setup um, the Corsair Link software works fairly well um, but yeah that's I mean this is on performance guys if you want an idea of fan noise And that's with all my other fans running where they're barely audible. So um, I'll I'll look. Uh, but what it looks like is the guy was that I saw in that other video was saying it was a a uh, a pump noise, and I actually think it's a it's a fan noise. I might pull one of these fans off and uh, or pull the header and hook it into something to where it's not running with the pump and see if that's what it is. But uh, I think that's what it is. I think it's these fans whenever you bump them down to that lower RPM that they just don't like it. So, because here, let me drop back down to quiet. And I really, I really do think it's the fans. Because it doesn't sound like it's coming from the pump. The, sa the pump sounds dead quiet, and it hasn't changed RPM speed. Or RPMs, speed, RPM speed. Anyways, uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm seeing right here, guys. Uh, so what you may want to do is just uh, maybe run the fans on a, like a balanced setup, uh, because it looks like the quiet setup runs them down to like like 700, 800 RPM, which is fairly low, and so I think it's just the bearings making some noise. Um, So uh, I'll put those uh, SP fans in and let you guys know. I may pull one of these and see if the orientation is what's, you know, causing them to have some trouble. Um, but uh, that's what it is so far. If you've got any other questions, let me know, guys.